Hey guys, how's it going? Tears back again with episode number 8 of Pac-Man and as we enter episode 8 we also enter division 8. We got promotion last time round with the bronze side into the third bottom division. So we've won two titles now, 10 and 9 and we're going to go into this one with the silver team. We've progressed now from bronze up through the ranks to silver after buying quite a few silver premium packs, collecting quite a few players and we've been able to build a 74 chemistry squad. We come into the first game for what we're going to get in division 8, what sort of teams? Oh. Uh, yeah, this is probably one of the best teams I've ever played against on FIFA 14 to date. Sammy Leto, Javier Hernandez up top with uh, Sherla, Oscar Mata and Aaron Lennon in the midfield. Ashley Cole, David Luiz, Vincent Company, Zabaleta and Joe Hart in goals. So uh, you really kind of don't have to, uh, to ask yourself what is going to happen in this game as you can see. Uh, that's three. And there's a fourth. And there's a fifth from David Luiz, his second header from a corner. There's a sixth, a screamer from Oscar. Oh look, we uh, we got a goal back. Nice work, Jankowski. Through Joe Hart's legs. Maybe we can... No, okay, no comeback. 7-1 is the uh, final score in that game. So I thought, okay, maybe it was a one-off. Let's go and strengthen by another silver pack. And uh, we'll see if we can pull a decent player. One that will ma perhaps make us a little bit stronger. Give us that something extra that the team currently doesn't have. And uh, perhaps we'll have better luck next time out. And we actually pulled a 74-rated goalkeeper that uh, from Fiorentina, Uruguay, looks very, very decent. And also a striker with 91 pace. So uh, he looks like he might be a little bit handy as well. As well as uh, a couple of gr a ground, a couple of balls and a kit that, of course, will have been made active. So I thought, OK, well, we've built a second, string, second string side. The front three are going to be making their debut together. Also is Manua in goal. going to be making his debut. We've got... Jorge Palazza up top with his 91 pace. You're going to have De Ridder on the left-hand side with his 88 pace. And we've got Joshua Gatt on the right-hand side with his 93 pace. So, OK, well, maybe. Let's see if we can get better luck in the match draw this time. And the next game we come up against is another full gold, full chem, fantastic Barclays Premier League side. Javier Hernandez and Papi Cisse. Ashley Young, Shinji Kagawa and Theo Walcott. Frank Lampard, Fabio and Raphael. Robert Huth, Johnny Evans and Tim Howard. Fuck my absolute life. So uh, I see a pattern developing here. Do you? So uh, we went into this one. Maybe we could do a little bit better. Danny Welbeck, one. Danny Welbeck, two. Danny Welbeck, three. And a hat trick. And you know what's coming. Danny Welbeck, four. So uh, round out a 4 0 defeat. All goals coming from Danny Welbeck. So. I tried to test it. I thought, okay, maybe it's because we've made the step to silver. It's giving us stronger teams. So let's go in with the bronze team again and see what we get in Division 8. And when we come up against another all gold, apart from the silver right mid, full chem side, Pato and Wellerton up front. He's got Felipe Melo at centre mid. Two very, very strong centre backs in, uh, in Miranda and Felipe Santana. Mariano and Maxwell wing backs with Helton in goal. So whilst the, uh, whilst the highlights of this go on in the background, I have a question for you. What do we do next? The options are struggle on with a silver side and uh, risk losing 7 8 nil every single episode, every single game. Or what we can do, we've got some gold players from those welcome packs we opened at the beginning. We've also got some coins in the bank that we could use to open a couple of gold packs. Shall I sell every silver and bronze player that I've got, buy as many gold packs as possible, and would we'll make the jump to gold right now in episode four, episode number nine. And then what we'll do if that is the case, because we'll have jumped to gold so quickly, when next gen comes out, we will restart Pac-Man and start from scratch with no welcome packs. And we'll start from scratch with bronze, go through the whole bronze pack, silver pack, gold pack, and hopefully the run will be a lot smoother. How does that sound to you guys? Let me know in the comment section down below. I won't record any Pac-Man. I won't make a decision for the next couple of days because I'm recording this about a week before you're going to see this video. So do be sure to let me know in the comments down below. There won't be any Pac-Man for the next two or three days, perhaps whilst I, um, you know, get your decision from this one and then uh, uh, go out and record the footage, re edit it up, render it, and then uh, get it uploaded for you. But these are the gold players we've got at the minute. We've got about... 23 I think 22 23 players so there's enough to build a couple of squads or at least one squad and then uh, have some rotation with players on the bench and then of course we'll, uh, we'll we've got at least for two gold packs as it is right now and if I'm able to sell everything else on for a little bit then maybe we'll have enough for a third or a fourth so let me know in the comment section down below of course as always thank you very much for watching please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind if you haven't subscribed already there will be a link on screen over the Pac-Man and in the description a link to follow me on 
on Twitter at Chesnoid Gaming will be in the description as well. And there's another annotation on screen over the pink ghost if you missed the previous video from this series. And of course, feel free to check the channel page for anything you may have missed in all of the other series. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.